tools. Well, I get a lot of requests for um, what are the best tools to buy, what tools do you need. Um, first, first of all, I'm not affiliated with any tool manufacturer. Um, these are the tools that I found that work for me over the years. So I'm going to go through my uh, tool bag here with you. And this serves me very well. It takes care of about 95% of what I need to do on a basic service call. And this is what I carry with me um, from the truck to the system. And I have a bigger backup tool bag in the truck, but this is just a service service bag. All right, so I went through quite a few different bags. I found Cordura has a really nice, heavy-duty, durable, it's an electrician's bag, but it works, serves us well for HVAC technicians. First thing, it's got the uh, electrical wire holder there so I can keep a couple of rolls on there and I have just a basic digital thermometer a couple of inspection mirrors I have a service wrench that you get at the supply house this is for the um, uh, the manual service valves usually you find them on the really old systems or uh, commercial jobs where you have to open up the service valves to measure so it's got all the different size um, connections there and then this is a separate piece that you buy in, so you can put that in your service wrench and for the newer systems uh, this has got the the proper size allen screw t to um, close off or open up the uh, the service valves so that's a separate part very easy to lose. I keep a backup of one of these in my truck. I have a couple of ratcheting box end wrenches. A quarter inch and five sixteenths. This takes the place of stubby nut drivers because usually if you can't get a regular size nut driver in there the stubbies are tough and they're tough to turn. So this takes care of um, any hard to get to screw. Then I have an offset um, 7 16 and 3 8 ratcheting box end wrench. That that gets most of the bolts off that I need um, especially on some of the older systems that have really they have the 17, 7 16 inch um, hex head screws that hold in the condenser fan um, and the top to the to the unit. So that's what I have there small small service screwdriver for thermostats I keep my reamer in there because it always falls to the bottom of my big tool bag and I'm digging for it and I never have it and can find it when I need it so I keep it in my bag um, good pair of dikes and wire strippers needle nose pliers adjustable wrench pretty self-explanatory let's talk about meters uh, this is my field piece this is my field piece meter here it does everything I need it to do but I always have a backup meter because, I'll give me an example, I was just shooting a video and dropped my field piece meter and now my resistance measurements are off. So if you do that and you're out in the field, it's an awful long um, drive to get another meter and pretty expensive for the field piece. So I have my field piece that I use most of the time. My backup meter, I have my old beat up UEI, which I've had for 15 years. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, it'll do the clamp on and the resistance and um, voltage measurements. It will not measure a capacitor, but at least this will get you through in case you uh, trash your main meter. So I always have a backup. I like to get Klein screwdrivers. Uh, the num they're the number four um, screwdrivers, just your standard and Phillips. Right there. Then I have a uh, 5 16 and quarter inch magnetic nut drivers. 
So and they're the eight inch or nine inch nut drivers, and with, together with the ratcheting box end wrench, I don't need any other any other nut driver. And the other thing I learned, I learned this when I was doing refrigeration. Uh, if you can, you go to a supply house, you can put together a small set of gauges. So you buy the gauges separately, and you attach a small service hose to it, and you can slide those in your bag. So if you're climbing up on a roof or you're you're going someplace and you don't want to lug all your gauges and you just need to get some quick uh, pressure and temperature measurements this is what I use um, this is these are gauges they've got R22, R12, R502 but on my iPhone I have an app that has the pressure temperature chart so I just convert the pressure pressures to temperatures using the the chart if I'm on an R410A system so that's it uh, that serves me like I said 90 95 percent of my service calls um, I can take care of with just this tool bag and every pl every tool has a place so when I get done I can do a quick visual scan and know if I'm missing a tool.